Good morning, and welcome to Daily Disciplines. Well, <laughs> I guess it's time for another one of those questions I ask from time to time. And remember, I ask the question because I want to know how I did. <laughs> I want to know how yesterday was for me. So I ask you, how was yesterday? In the process of deciding about those priorities of life, Here's the real question I'm after. Do you have the list of priorities? You see, if you don't have the list, it's really difficult to, to take the next steps that we want to take in terms of overcoming procrastination. And after all, that's what these last many days have been all about, is overcoming procrastination in our lives so that we can become what we are created to be. But we move on today with the next element of suggestions for overcoming procrastination. And today it is to enlist an accountability partner. Well, I have from time to time asked you the question, can I be honest with you? <laughs> and uh, you've always said yes. <laughs> so I'm asking again today, can I be real honest with you about this particular step in overcoming procrastination. Assuming that your response is, as it always has been, I move on then to tell you that in my original notes for this, these podcasts on procrastination, the one that I'm going to talk about today was not there. And it was not there, I think, probably at an unconscious level. I, don't, I didn't sit down and deliberately say, okay, that is one of those steps to overcoming procrastination, but I don't want to talk about it because I don't like it. I didn't do that deliberately, but I think at an unconscious level, that's exactly what happened. Because it's one of those areas that I know makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. But it's also one of those areas that I've never really been comfortable in doing. Therefore, I've not gotten good up to this particular point in my life. I am better, but there's a lot of room for improvement for me. So here it is. You take a look at you. The first element of an accountability partner is to evaluate your time on a daily basis for an extended period of time, say a week in half an hour segments and determine when you look back and evaluate that, where did you procrastinate? See, here's what I believe. I believe that if we take that hard look and we put our behavior under that microscope of, of honesty and integrity that we talked about, we will find the times of procrastination. But oftentimes they are not obvious until we have gone back listed exactly what we've done in half-hour segments throughout the entire day and do it for a week and then go back and look and see. Was that particular time slot procrastination? Were you falling into one of the traps that have kept you from becoming all that you were created to be? Or were you actually doing that which was most important in your life at that point. I believe that that accountability partner can make a huge difference for me, and I believe it can make a huge difference for you. So today, why not invest a few moments of making a little chart? I, I don't know, I guess we could probably just design a time analysis chart for you, but, but it's really pretty simple. Just on half-hour segments, every half hour, just jot down what you've been doing the previous half hour. Do that all day long, from the time you get up until the time you go to bed. And do it for a week, and then sit down with those half-hour segments and determine when did I procrastinate. It will be challenging. It will be some time, somewhat time-consuming but it will be so worthwhile. Have a great day. We'll talk again soon.